Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial we have successfully retrieved all the users on our Find Friends activity. Now in this video tutorial uh, what we will be doing is that as you know that when we click on any profile then it show us and it send us to that user profile. So let's say now I am logging my account using Mohamed Ali and I want to chat uh, I want to send a message to this beautiful girl so what I will do I will simply click on the send message button so this will basically send a chat request to that girl and now that girl whose name is this okay so she will accept she can accept my chat request or she can cancel if she request my uh, if that girl uh, accept my chat request then uh, my uh, information will be added in his contact list or you can say my contact will be added in her contact list so yeah let's do that now we will start work on that so go to the end of studio and here we have our uh, retrieve user info method so here inside this if statement here we can uh, call a method which you will create now and we can give it a name as manage chat requests manage chat request and also copy this and paste that here also and now let's create this method inside our profile activity so you can see it is created successfully and now here first let's create a variable here and it will be of a string data type so we can call this as current underscore state stat so this is our uh, string data type variable current stat and we have to initialize here in our own create method after here we can say current stat equals to new that is the two user are new to each other they do not know uh, about each other so I mean the user has to send a request so what we gonna do here inside our manic chat request method here we can say First of all, we need to add a validation that is, uh, you can, uh, you know that, first of all, let me go to the settings activity and now I am logging using my own account which is Mohamed Ali. And if I go to the find friends activity, then here if I click on my profile which is Mohamed Ali, then also this, I can see this send message button. So we do not want to uh, display this button here if a user can see his own profile, okay. So this button will not be... Uh, Will not we will not display that button to the user who is using his own account i mean a user can't send a message to his own profile or you can say to his own account so for that what we're gonna do here we can simply say if and we have to get the current user id or you can say the online user id so for that uh, what i'm going to do i will create simple another uh, variable and that will be the current user id that is the user who is online that is let's say uh, here i am now currently online so this is the current user ID and we need a Firebase auth to get the current user ID. So we can say Firebase auth. Let's call this as M auth and now here we can say M auth Firebase auth dot get instance. And by using this M auth we are going to uh, retrieve the current user ID. So we can say M auth dot get current user dot get uid so yeah that's it and now come down here and here we can say it. but before we do that one important thing which i remembered is that instead of calling this as current user id we can give it a name as sender user id and also copy this and replace this current user id with that okay sender user id so now here we can say sender user id dot equals to the receiver user id so if both here we need to add a exclamation marks which is not okay so if the sender and the receiver are not equals to each other then this means that uh, we are going to send a chat request and this mean this basically means that this is another user this is not the online user so in the else that will be the online user i mean uh, my the user on profile so we have to invisible the send message request button so we can say dot set visibility to invisible view dot invisible and now here we can set a click listener on our send message request button so 
So here, once the user click on the send message request button, that is once he send a chat request to any user, then we have to uh, make the button, I mean uh, the set enabled to false. And then we are going to check the uh, current stat which is which will be at the start equals to new that is the two person are new to each others and that user can send a message to the other person the chat request basically so let's create a method here by name send chat request let's create that method and this is our send chat request method now for that we will be needing a database reference for the new parent node okay so after this user ref we can give that node as a name i mean chat uh, request ref reference okay so here we can create that reference which will be our chat request ref and it will be up to the chat request and now come down here and here we can say chat request ref first we will uh, store the sender user id and then the receiver because we have to uh, tell the user that who is going to uh, send the chat request so after that we can say receiver id dot child you will understand everything once we uh, run the app and once we see the records in the database and i will also expl explain these things again so you will have a node by the name request inside this quotation request underscore type dot set value and it should be sent that is the request is sent dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and here in our on complete method we can check if the task is successful chat request dot chat receiver user id dot child sender user id let's copy this request type and pass that here and now it will rec ivd received so for the sender it will be sent and for the receiver it will be received dot and one thing which I need to confirm is the receiver, sender, and this is the sender and the receiver, yes. Dot add on complete listener, new on complete listener. Make sure to put a semicolon here and now here in our on complete method. If the task is successful, then we can say send message request button dot set enables to true. And we have to change the current state now. So now here we can say request underscore send. That is the request is sent. And now also let's change the text of the send message request button. So we can say dot set text. And now the user has the choice to uh, cancel that chat request. Now let's run the app to see what basically happens. So the app is uh, running now successfully and now let's also check the database alongside with it. So go to the find friends activity and now first let, uh, let check my profile. So here you can see I can't see the send message button because now this is my own profile. I am logging using this account. Okay. So I can't send a chat request to my own profile. So now let's uh, send a chat request to GR Roberts. So I will click on send message and here you can see this chat request note okay so you can see that we have two ids if i expand this one okay first let uh, let check the request type so it is sent okay so it basically means that this is the sender id this is the receiver id it basically means that this person sent a chat request to this person and the request type is sent okay and this is the receiver id that is this person is the receiver and this is the sender and because we have to display to the both user that from whom he uh, the request is sent and from whom the other user received a request okay so you can see the request type sent and the received you can also check both of these uh, users here which is ux 
so if I show you the UX then you can see this is the sender ID and the other one is KYP which is the receiver ID which is this one your robots so in this way this whole things will work so you can see the button is changed to the cancel chat request so now if I go back and if I come again here then you can see the cancel chat request uh, button is I mean the text is not uh, present here so we have to fix this thing okay so for that I will go to the end of the studio again and here we have our this method which is manage chat request so here at the top what I'm going to do by using the chat request ref dot child send user ID dot add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here first and now inside this on data change we need to uh, retrieve the request type so first we have to check if data snapshot dot exist so first we have to check the receiver uh, id alongside by using this data snapshot so here we can say if data snapshot dot has child receiver user id since you know that first we have a sender receiver and then the receiver and sender okay so that's why so here let's retrieve the uh, request type so we can set it as dot child receiver user id dot child and the child after the receiver user id is the request type okay for both i mean for the sender and for the receiver for the both so we have to write here the same name which is here okay you can see this request type so we are searching and checking the request type dot get value dot to string make sure to put a semicolon here now here we can say request type dot equals to sent so if the request is sent then as you know that we have to change the current state to request underscore sent and we have to change the send message request text to the cancel chat request so yeah that's it and now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully let's come here and now we have to check it so let's go to the find friends activity and now let's uh, send friend request to the fourth first so if I send then you can see okay if I go back let's first check the rid of our account then you can see cancel chat request and earlier we sent friend request to GR Robert so if I come here then you can see uh, the button okay so it is working fine now in the next video tutorial we will work on the cancel chat request that is if I send a chat request to that user then I have the right to cancel that chat request so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now